Hi, 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 it's your Dr. Isabel, and I am here doing weekly updates on COVID-19 virus. I'm sorry it's taken me such a long time to get a hold of all this, but I've been like a deer in headlights going, what is going on? Because as, as a medical doctor, uh, we have never seen this before in our current life lifetime and um we're just kind of blown away by it all okay so what i'm going to go ahead and do over the next time that covid19 is here around the world um i'm just going to gather the information and give it to you in snackable pieces weekly so you don't feel like you're sitting in front of a fire hydrant going holy moly what is going on okay um, and this week, I'm going to focus on questions that my patients, my clients have been asking. Keep in mind, I'm a medical doctor here in New Zealand, and I'm still got my foot in frontline medicine as an urgent care general practitioner. Plus, I've also got my online business as a functional medicine doctor. So I got my feet in both sides, and I can just say that... Uh, the medical profession is the new soldiers of this war and we're doing the best we can. And we thank you so much for understanding and um, just doing your best because I know we are all doing our best. Um, I personally understand that we're all very vulnerable. This is a weird time. We've never experienced anything like this. And I just want to say it's okay to feel awkward. Um, I find myself standing in a room going, what was I here for? Because my mind is all over the place. I'm thinking about my daughters in Australia, my 95 year young mom in Washington, DC, and my family around the world. You know, everybody is being affected. So it's okay if you feel awkward and it is okay if you feel vulnerable. The key is we've just got to remain brave and know that we will get through this day by day by day, okay? And the number one thing we need to keep right is this. Yes, our mind. Uh, I've just come to the conclusion, I'm just going to share with you what has helped me is just realize it is what it is. We are not going to make this go away in one day. It is what it is and we need to be like, Hmm, like a tree in the wind. It bends, but it doesn't break. Or if you can imagine a palm tree, a palm tree in the hurricane just bends over, then bends over, and it may touch the ground, but it bends back up, and that's us, okay? You and me here at Dr. On a Mission will do this together. And we've got two choices. I've got two choices every morning that I wake up and that you wake up. We have a choice to respond or react. We can react with fear and dread like, oh no, not another day. Because here in New Zealand right now, we're going into level four. And that means we're all in mandatory isolation, except when you gotta go to the doctor, the chemist, or um, you've gotta go fill up your petrol tank, or if you've gotta, go to a doctor's appointment or, you know, important things. And you can, we can get out and walk. However, we can wake up going, oh no, not another day. Or we can wake up with the mindset that we are going to respond. And by that, we can decide to respond with the right armor, with the white, right weapons. And that is with peace, love, and joy. Peace, love and joy instead of fear and dread. And I can guarantee you, if we all decide to have peace, love and joy as our weapons, it's over. The war is over, we've won it. And we've just gotta wake up and do that every single day. And I guarantee you, if you do the peace, love and joy thing every day, instead of the fear and the dread, you will get through this. And you'll be winning on the other end. You'll know how to battle, how to how to go through another battle. And we, at the end of the day, can tick off our sheet going, okay, I made it through another battle. Yes, because that's what it is, okay? Another battle, but we're all doing it all around the world, okay? So please, I encourage you to respond instead of react. 
Okay, let's go deep and get these questions answered, okay? Ah, okay. So about this COVID-19, essentially it's this thing, it's an antigenic shift. All that means is the world has seen coronavirus before. However, now the outside of this virus, our immune system has never seen before. So we can't really mount up warfare. We can't mount up an antibiotic response to it. Our bodies don't don't have an antibody to respond to it, okay? So that's why it's harder for our immune system to fight this. 80% of people who do contact it have mild symptoms and the 15% will have more severe pulmonary lung complications and two to 3% will result in death. The greater concern is for us who are pretty healthy is to pass it on to people that are at risk. And let's talk about first, I said, washing your hands for 20 seconds. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Um, when I come back from the urgent care center, like I did last night, I went and took off all my clothes and put it in the wash and I went and took a shower just to clean off. So make sure we stay very clean. Um, let's talk about the people that are at risk. Individuals that are at most risk is the elderly. Anybody over the age of 70 at this point today. Uh, then also the immunocompromised and those that are taking immunosuppressive medication like people that are on medication such as prednisone or medication for rheumatoid arthritis or lupus, immunosuppressive medication. Also patients that are, have cancer or a neutropenic and they're on chemotherapeutic medications. Also smokers, also people with lung conditions like COPD and asthma. And then also at risk are the obese, type two diabetes, patients with high blood pressure and people with cardiovascular disease, for instance, heart attacks. Um, the symptoms of coronavirus 19 is a sore throat, a dry cough, which is unlike a cold, which is a moist cough because it's all up here dripping in, okay? So this is different from a cold because it's a dry cough, it's all down in here instead of a cold, which is upper, upper respiratory, up above, okay? So the symptoms of coronavirus is a sore throat, a dry cough, fevers. Here in New Zealand, we do centigrade, so it's 38 degrees or over. Shortness of breath and fatigue, okay? So that's, this, that's some of the questions answered that you all have been sending me. Before I go, I just wanna let you know that there's a lot you can do. One is wash your hands. Two, definitely get good sleep, seven to nine hours every night. Um, and then also, if you are interested in receiving practitioner strength supplements, I've created a Dr. Isabel Immuno pack. And if you're interested in receiving that, just go ahead and direct message me and I'll send you the link on how to get a hold of that, okay? Until next week, be brave, cry. Crying's good. It helps you get rid of stress. So don't consider yourself weak if you're crying. It's okay, okay? Hey, I cry frequently. I cry definitely daily, okay? Because it is, it's okay. So be brave. It's okay to cry. And let's just help everybody out, help each other out, okay? God bless you. Bye-bye.